In other news, Lebanon has a new prime minister designate, President Michel Aoun, announcing on Monday that Najib Mikati will be the new leader for the struggling country for the third time. Lebanon currently suffering from the worst crisis it's ever seen. But Mikati, who was the prime minister of Lebanon back in 2005 and again from 2011 to 2014, knows a little bit about what he's getting into. So how will the new old president fare with these problems? What kind of opposition could he expect? And where does Israel fall in regards to the new, uh, to the new post? Well, joining us to discuss these issues is ILTV reporter Asaf Nissan. Asaf, thank you so much for being with us. Now, who is the new old president of, of Lebanon, or prime minister of Lebanon, I should say exactly, uh, and, and how come he was chosen now as the new official prime minister of Lebanon? Well, first of all, Aaron, great to be here as always. President, uh, the new prime minister of Lebanon, Najib, Najib Mikati, is actually, is actually the president who's just been announced for the third time in his, in his entire life. To be, the, to be the Prime Minister of Lebanon. This is, of course, after being elected back in 2005 and 2011 to 2014. He's considered one of the richest men in, Leb one of the richest men in Lebanon. And also, public opinion does swift a little bit on him because he's considered one of the people who did bring the country into the current crisis. Reason, though, he was, he was elected now is the fact that Prime Minister, that the other elect that tried yet again to form a, to form a government, Saad Khariri, failed and finally decided to throw, the towel, to throw in the towel and quit the attempts of trying to form a new government. Well, so how does Mikati, you know, how is he planning to fix the current crisis plaguing the country? Uh, you know, and how much support does he really have, especially given, as, as you said, uh, his background of, you know, being this really rich person with, uh, I, I don't know, a, a controversial background, I should say, in, in Lebanon. So Aaron, Mikati is planning to fix the current crisis plaguing the country by appealing to the European countries and the IMF who are also calling for him to do certain reforms in the country. But unfortunately, this is not going to be as easy as promised because we are talking about a president who was supported by uh, the Islamic faction of, of Hezbollah and most of the Islamic factions and the Sunnis and the Shiites who wanted him in, who wanted him in power. And this is a prime minister who's also been known in the past to be in good terms with Syria thus making it a potential ally for Iran. So we're not expecting to see the easiest fix in the world. And in addition, we're also seeing that in the, co in the coalition itself and in the opposition, basically in parliament, we're going to see a lot of strife coming in from the Maronite and the Christian parties, which is actually led right now under the son-in-law of the current president, Michel Aoun. And he, of course, is saying that he's not willing to let the, to let the faction go and, and support uh, a Sunni or Shiite, any pretty much Islamic president that is not going to support their needs. All right, so, so you talked a little bit about his supporters and, and his opposition a little bit here. Could this president, or, or I'm sorry, could this be the prime minister, could this be the next leader of Lebanon that despite these political opponents, uh, you know, unite Lebanon and get the country back on track? I would say it's not impossible, but we are going to see a lot of problems and a lot of fights in between, especially due to the fact that he is representing one half of the map when you don't have the uh, other minorities represented properly. And then again, how can you represent the whole country if you don't care about the other minorities? And as I stated in the past, these are factions that are literally tearing Lebanon apart because we're not talking about like little political parties. We're talking about complete publics that are being either put on the side or completely ignored due to the fact that they're not uh, Islamic. All right, so we know, uh, of course, also that Mikati is backed by Hezbollah. He's known to be affiliated with the Syrian regime, as you've touched on a little bit. How should Israel be viewing this new appointment? Israel should view this new appointment as pretty much every other president, every other prime minister that the country had. We're seeing a country that is divided still and still isn't a problem that can find itself, which means it's either going to go with Iran, which of course Israel is worried about, and that's why that's where probably the direction will go right now. But on the other hand, if Mikati will decide to go with the Europeans, maybe this will open a new window to diplomacy. We cannot be sure of it yet. This is too soon to tell, but only time will tell, of course. All right. Well, of course, we wish the best for the people of Lebanon who are struggling with this situation, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Thank you so much, Asaf. Thank you so much.